I kind of messed it up a little bit, but it's fine because we're gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna talk about the whole thing. Okay, look at your game, girl, by Charles Manson. Uh, a little backstory on the song. Um, it was one of the first songs he wrote. It was the first song on his um, the Lie, Love and Terror Cult album, which although it came out in nineteen seventy or seventy three, I believe. I wish I could turn this brightness down because it's so bright. You can see on my guitar. Um, but yeah, but uh came out it was recorded in nineteen sixty seven or sixty eight, I believe. Um I should probably say this too, um uh, just because I enjoy his music and I th I love his music if anything, but um that does not mean that I am justifying the things he has done. Um I don't really want to get into it because it's very controversial and I quite frankly do not care. So, that being said, um we're in standard tuning. There's really only two or three main chords for the song. Oh, I also forgot to say this, but I played it before. Um, I played this song before I'm teaching it right now, just so that way, if you're like me and you learn things best by watching, you don't have to, you know, skip through me talking a bunch. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so it starts. I'll try to be as specific as possible here, but let me get the lyrics up so I can see. So it starts like this. There's a time for living. The town keeps on flying. Think you're alone, right? Okay. So that is two main chords, really. So uh, this is all I should say this too. I keep kind of cutting myself off, but it's fine. I'm teaching this. So I can't seem to find a single video on YouTube of someone playing it the way it's played on the record. Um, even though it's Charles Manson, my ideology of playing songs or covering or teaching songs whatever the exact way it was played still holds true so i'm going to teach this the exact way that charlie played it on the record okay so that being said i did this all by ear of course so you know but it starts in d major seven right all right so that's um i don't want to have to explain all the chords but that's uh open d and then on the g b and e it's just two right and you can hear it when you listen to the song, I'm gonna pull the song up actually so we can, um, how do I go to Spotify real quick? Hold on, be patient. Yeah, so when we listen to the song, how, how is this gonna be? Hold on, we gotta make it not so loud. When we listen to it, there's a time for living. You can hear that he goes, there's a time. And then he's pretty much outlining a G chord, right? So that's, um, so uh, G6, by the way, is the chord is that is the main kind of G chord we're gonna use. I see everybody on YouTube doing like G major where it's like, but if you listen, I don't even think that Charlie's playing the high strings. 
So I play it as a G6, but if you listen to it, like, he's not even really playing the highest notes. He's kind of just going like a power chord almost. Okay, so anyway, how though? It goes, D major seven, there's a time for. So he's pretty much playing three on E, two on A, open D, and very lightly plays the G, right? A time for. All right, so he goes back to, there's a time for. Time. Back to D major 7, full. And you can hear him kind of hit those low notes. Right, where is it? Right. Right here. Right. So he kind of just plays like that, right? So we really kind of only try to play those lowest three or four strings. And that's kind of the entirety of... um of the chord when he plays when he ever really plays a G. He's never really playing like you know, and people play it as a full G. But because I don't hear him really playing those high notes, I kind of just So it's like a but anyhow, anyhow, we're getting distracted. So what's that sound? So the main um the main chords for the song is he goes D major seven G6 Whenever he plays after the G kind of thing, he kind of goes to this. He goes to this like kind of almost A5 kind of thing before going back to D major 7. If you listen, he's not like, I'll play it again, but he's not really just going, you know. You can, you can hear him go. Right there to the A, right? Like, here, let's listen. Let's listen. Right there. Right? You can hear him go to the A. Okay, now that we go back to the lyrics here. So he kind of changes it up a little bit. So... There's a few, there's like really only, I guess, like three or four main parts. The main, the main chord part where he goes D major 7 to G6, A, D, 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 G, 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 A, D, right? And then when it goes to can you feel all those feelings real, that part, he, he repeats that twice in the song, that part goes, can you, instead of going D major 7, can you feel, he goes, can you feel So it goes, uh, where am I? I think, think you're loving, baby, and all you do is cry in G6, A, can you, F sharp minor, feel, G, all oh, those feelings real. All right, so it goes F sharp, G6, A, F sharp, G6, A. And then it goes back to, um, when he goes to the chorus at, look at your game, girl. That's just D major 7, G6, and A. So it's, or can you, can you feel all those feelings real? D major 7, look at your game, girl. Look at your game, girl. Then he goes to, when he goes from, what a mad delusion, living out of confusion, frustration and doubt. So this part is kind of the tricky part, if you will. So when he goes, look at your game, girl. Or fuck. A, then he goes, What a mad delusion. Living in the confusion. Frustration and doubt. So that part is, instead of going D major 7 to G6, he goes D major to F sharp. I'm out of tune. I'm good enough. Okay, so he goes, What a mad delusion. Living in the confusion, frustration and doubt. Can you ever live without your pain? Sad, sad, sad game. 
So that's the hardest part in the song, if you ask me. So after it goes, um, where am I? Frustration and doubt. F sharp minor, so, or F sharp minor, doubt. E minor. Can you ever live without? So just E minor after the F sharp minor, then A6, which is like an A chord, but the high E is at two. So it's like, so where am I? Um, frustration and doubt. Can you ever live with E minor, A6, doubt? So that part, it's kind of hard to get this part right, but it's like, you almost hammer on the E minor and then smack it, like, and then strum strum on the dead string. So it's, uh, duh, 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 where am I, where am I, where am I? Can you live without? Can you, can you ever live without? Or, then he goes, and that's like A6, like we had before. So it goes four, uh, four on uh, D, G, B, and E. Uh, then it or I'm sorry, did I say four? I meant two. Two, one, O. Oh, right. So from D to E, it's just the second fret, then the first fret, then the open, then back to E minor. So it goes like um, back to E minor, then back to A six. A major 7, G6, A, D major 7, G6, so from the top it goes, what a mad delusion, living in the confusion, frustration and doubt, can you ever live without your Just to say, or just to, just to say, your love's not enough. Back to the E minor thing, that's the game. The sad, sad, sad game. Mad game. Alright, and you can end on that um, D major 7. Okay. I hope that helps. Uh, this video's kind of gotten longer than I thought it would, considering it's kind of a pretty simple song. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope that helps. Uh, if you have questions, you can ask always. <sighs> oh, but yeah, I don't know. Like I said, um, please don't argue in the comments about the morality of who Charles Manson is and all that stuff. You gotta separate the art from the artist, I guess. Or you don't, I don't know. I personally really don't most of the time, but I don't know. I still love this song. Great song. Somebody um, requested that I do a tutorial for it, so I hope this helps Mr. Dude, okay? But yeah, I don't know. Alright, peace out. Subscribe if you have if you have requests or anything. Comment. Okay, bye.